Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and today I'm bringing you Drinks with Abby. Now about this game, uh, Drinks Abby is a short slice of life visual novel about a first date from a male's perspective after connecting with Abby on a dating app. You meet in person for the first time at a local bar. Now obviously, we can have different kind of topics of conversation, better choices, longer dates, worse choices. Obviously maybe our date won't go so well. There we go, let's start the game. It is Saturday night. You scan the dimly lit bar hoping to find her before your nerves catch up with reality. There is absolutely no one in the bar. <laughs> Pink sweater, right side, easy enough. Right. She sits cross-legged at a booth typing on her phone. Abby. Oh, there you are. <laughs> she stares at you blankly. Sorry, do I know you? Now, how do we want to play this game? Uh... It's inside a gamer. My bad. I thought we were on a date, but she's a lot prettier. I think that's quite funny. Uh, hilarious. I think we're gonna go with this one. Hey, I look just like my pictures. Uh, so you know, catfish. You actually do. This is true. I don't know what your pictures look like. You hang your coat and sit opposite her. Nice to finally meet you in person. You too. Okay. So what we're we gonna go for here? I like your sweater. Thanks. It's my favorite. <laughs> do you like that it's off the shoulder? Is that a trick? I'm, I'm getting this shoulder fetish vibe from you right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I knew it. Ah, is this the real thing? I don't know. I'm sure it is. Oh, someone else has come here. A waitress appears out of thin air and hovers over Abby. Hey, what can I get you guys? Oh, whiskey neat, but I still want one of those little stirring straws. Why is that an interesting order? Okay, new. What, what should we go for? Uh... I go for a whiskey as well, Cosmo. Don't, maybe we shouldn't be the same as a Cosmo. Is a bit of a girly drink. Should we see what this brings up? <coughs> okay, we we'll see. We we'll see what happens. Are you about to tell me it's a girly drink? <laughs> How could I read your mind? Honestly, I think the idea of a girly manly drink is dumb. But I'm way too sober to get into that topic right now. <laughs> as long as you can keep up with me, I really don't give a shit what you're drinking. <laughs> I quite like Abby. <laughs> Fair enough. So you have met a lot of people online. Just a few. Same. I thought I was done with dating apps actually. But the thing is, the thing in the wanted app where you only talk to one person at a time seemed cool because you get a million messages otherwise. Of course you do. I think it's because of my... She pushes her breast up with both hands. <laughs> to be fair, they don't look that big right now. That awful sweater you're wearing. <clears throat> okay. We're not all like that. So, like, I don't really have a good answer here. Okay, we're not all like that. Easy there. Oh boy, I don't even have my drink yet. <laughs> what? Abby's eyes follow someone behind you. What do you think of our waitress? What about her? She's pretty cute. Well, I'm on a date with you. Why, why would I tell you that the, the waitress is cute? <laughs> there you go. I feel like this is a trick question. Hmm. She's cute. No, she's not really my type. Ah. Who cares? We'll go for cute. I don't think this date's going very well. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're relieved? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, she's obviously cute. This is this is weird. Wasn't sure if you had the balls to be straight up about it, though. Well, I do. Oh, here she is. It could be sisters. Wait, just place the drinks on the table. Abby's drink does not have a straw. She's not going to say anything. She, What would she want me to do? Ah, she can have my straw. I don't, I don't need a straw, I've already got the girly drink as it is. <coughs> Thanks. The waitress, you're very observant, new boy. Not bad. What? Maybe there's hope for you after all. I'm getting played. <laughs> Thank you, that'll be all. <laughs> Do you know her? Maybe. Yeah, that's my best friend, Rachel. Of course, I did, did I leave that part out? Hmm. Yeah, she's my backup, but a little bit too protective at times. You passed the test though, so you're good. <laughs> Abby sips her whiskey. She's drinking her whiskey neat like a juice box. I really need not to fuck this up. So I have a question. Why did you want to meet me? I think just saying your heart is probably stupid. I kind of want to know what our, our, our reason sounds stupid. She continues to wait. We didn't text for very long, so I didn't know much about you yet. But even when we were talking about favourites and you mentioned some of my favourite shows, I think someone's taste in TV shows can say a lot. Like what their sense of humour is and other things. Her eyes are locked onto you. 
Oh, I'm getting somewhere here. Oh, she's smiling at me now. Uh, someone who likes a lot of the same shows as me is probably going to get me. <laughs> I don't think many types of shared interests work like that. You're right, that is stupid. <laughs> Why did you want to meet me? You seemed honest. That's a big deal to me. Well, that makes it sound like I have trust issues, but that's not what I meant. Just I get the feeling you weren't just saying what you thought I wanted to hear. From what I can tell, you're not afraid to speak your mind either. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, do you come here a lot? She does. This has kind of been a second home for us for a few years. Sometimes it feels like a first home. Do you live in a bar? I'm with an alcoholic. Oh, good. We play games, listen to good music. You'll have to come back when they have a band playing upstairs. I'm down. Sure, why not? Is it supposed to snow? I don't know. <laughs> There's no windows. I hope so. There's an awkward pause. But maybe we can skip to the small talk. I already have to do that all day at work. <laughs> Jesus. She, she, she's blunt. How did you meet Rachel? That's all I have left. <laughs> oh god, we go way back, like 8th grade. Okay, good. I'll never forget how we met. Partly because we end up talking about it every couple of years. I, I feel like they're, they're lovers. We have an English class together and we had some kind of timed essay. My pencil broke so I was freaking out. Rachel sat behind me and always had a stupid amount of pencils for some reason. But I didn't want to ask her because I thought she didn't like me. Somehow she realised what happened and handed me one without saying anything. Literally no one in the room said a word but the teacher like, Abby, no talking during the essay. We still laugh about it much than <laughs> the teacher was. But yeah, Rachel's had my back ever since. That's awesome. You stay close. I don't even have friends from that far back. Tell me about your family then. She shifts in her seat to get more comfortable. Oh, okay. We're moving forward here. Well, I have a mum and a dad. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> I have a sister too. I like all of them. My sister's hilarious. They're all funny. <laughs> Must be genetic. Yeah, obviously. I'm, I'm at an annoying age where I realise how much like my parents I am, so it, it's a bit weird. Thinking back, they never forced me to do or be anything, but here I am, an engineer just like them. I chose to do that. At least I think I did. Wait, so both your parents are engineers? Yes. That's how we met. I wouldn't say my parents were forced to be a certain way, but I definitely was pushed. My dad's a dentist and he always wanted me to work with him. He spent years trying to sell me on it. He offered to pay for college too if I entered a dental program. I didn't have any better ideas, so that's what I did. But something ate away at me like it wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. <coughs> I suppose we might as well pretend we're interested here. Oh, someone just fell off my desk. Uh, what did you want to be doing? I have no idea at first, but something happened a couple of years that got me thinking. Rachel and I had this long talk about something she was going through. We talked all night about it. And then the next day she said something very sincere to me. Keep in mind that this is rare for her. She said, thank you, that helped her see things from a different perspective. She said I was a good listener. I know she's my best friend, but I didn't have to say that. So then I started to think maybe I could help other people. Like as a therapist. Oh god, I'm, I'm getting played, she's doing me over. <laughs> I haven't really pursued that yet though. But yeah, I dropped out at the end of my sophomore year. Even though dad wasn't very happy about it, he told me I could come work with him anyway as an assistant. It's a decent job. But I've been there almost three years now, and I'm still trying to figure out what's next for me. What about your mum? We get along fine. It was just more of a daddy's girl growing up. She cooks literally all the time. <laughs> Sounds like my mum. Like if I called her right the second, I swear she'd be baking something. <clears throat> I don't know about baking. Uh, please tell me cooking Jean got passed down. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> I mean, I'm competent enough to follow her recipe. No, that won't do. Listen to you like you're a cook. <laughs> you're ridiculous. So much for the gender roles. <laughs> oh, you're just looking for someone to cook and clean. Exactly. Where the hell is this gone? Don't worry. We'll get to that traditional household even if I have to change everything about myself. <laughs> Thank you for being so understanding. What did you mean earlier about girly drinks? My opinion on most political and social issues isn't really very popular. I have this problem where I form my own opinion about things. That's, that's every woman. Yeah, that'll get you into trouble. Most people seem to just fight for whatever ideas their side believes in. And if you don't agree with every detail of those ideas, then you're basically the enemy. I don't want you to hate me. <coughs> I, I want to hate her. Come on. 
So we're born male or female and sometimes intersex. Oh no, she's not a lady boy. Oh no, don't do this to me. I don't think anyone disagrees with that. But beyond that, people should look, act, drink differently however they want. I don't see the point of us using gender labors at all. How about you? What, what are you? And anyone who has a problem <laughs> makes sense to me. Well, good. I am now worried that she's a lady boy. Obviously, there's a lot more to it, but if we agree on that, I think we can leave it there for now. Abby looks over the window, continue to sip her drink. A light snow has started. Christmas season. No, I'm indifferent. You don't care about Christmas, but it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, not when you're a bus driver. Uh, I like it, but it's fine if you don't. I was born into it. Listen, you're going to tell me the story now. My family is the most hallmark family you'll ever see. It borders on embarrassing. They have to participate in every possible Christmas tradition. So back when you weren't crazy, when you weren't crazy people, what was the best gift you ever got? <laughs> gift cards? No, definitely. I was definitely a Lego or a Play-Doh kind of kid. I've always loved building things. That's uh, that's cute. <laughs> Um, honestly, the most memorable wasn't for Christmas. That cheating. It was cheating. My dad and I used to play checkers since I was five years old. Obviously, I wasn't very good at that age, but he'd go easy on me. As we played, he would kind of set up the board. So eventually, that I'd have a turn where I could jump pieces all the way to his side. And I'd get the stack of two pieces for a king, which would make me so happy. But I was a little too understand... But I was a little too little to understand how it happened. He'd always say, well, I'd rather you be on my side anyways. My favourite gift from him was when I left for college. It was two black checker pieces glued together and made into a necklace. <laughs> okay, so she's easy to buy gifts for. I like this. I don't wear it too much though. I'm afraid of losing it. No, you can talk about whatever you want. Yep. Okay, we're going to go play a game. Pool or darts? I'm more of a pool person. Here we go. Sounds good. I'll go set everything out and kick any out any regulars if I need to. Okay, I'm getting more drinks. Oh, here we go. You approach the bar and find Rachel finishing someone's order. She looks at you next. Hit me again. You turn, you turn to a man sitting next to you, slouched over his empty glass. Tom, right? I'll be with you in a sec. Honey, I'm next in line. Just pour me another real quick. <clears throat> Sorry, did you please cut me off if I keep talking? He bangs his head in defeat. <laughs> Rachel swipes a receipt from the counter, mumbling to herself. We're on a roll with this. She <laughs> tips the nine. <laughs> anyway, another whiskey and Cosmo. Yes, please. She prepares the drinks but takes her time. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're actually killing it. How can you tell? Because I've been creeping on your <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. <laughs> First date, huh? Yeah. Always starts great, don't it? Then you sit in where I am. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> she sets the drinks on the bar top. I'm Rachel. You peek at the games area, Abby's talking to a guy. Trust me, she's not into him. They barely know each other. Tom follows your gaze. I don't know, maybe I should go ahead and save you a seat. <laughs> okay, apparently I've got to play nice. Oh, look at this fella. Not good. Sorry, I didn't realise you were with someone. Yeah, of course you didn't. I'm Kyle. You shake his hand. I didn't wash my hands when I went to the toilet, mate. <laughs> he smirks. So you guys, so you guys together? Ah, oh, now nah, this is a horrible question. No, we just met, or it's our first date. Ugh. It's kind of nearly a wrong answer, no matter where you go on this one. It's our first date. Oh, very cool. What do you do for a living? None of your business. <laughs> I've heard engineers do okay. If you love what you're doing, the details don't matter as much, right? I'm a real estate agent myself. Of course you are. I am not going to rise to him. I'm glad it's going well for you. Rachel makes everything strong. Oh, good. I wasn't going to say anything, but did you really look? I'm going to punch this guy in the face. He waits for Abby's agreement. What's your point? Oh, okay, Abby might punch him in the face. I mean, it's not very manly. <laughs> well, I only want men half the time anyway. 
Oh, I knew there was something going on. So it works out. <laughs> Time for pull. I think so. Damn, I'd rather punch him in the face. <laughs> the ball's already neatly racked on the table. I'm assuming you know how to play 8-ball. I do. Flip a coin for the break. Let's do it. You should break. Well, why did we flip the coin? I don't want to give you any excuses for why you lost. <laughs> I thought you were just trying to be cute. <laughs> I don't have to try to be cute. Or better than you, for that matter. <laughs> then why don't we make it interesting? You make a shot, the other person drinks. And if you miss a shot, you drink. <laughs> She's playing with me. No, I was just going to say, you don't have to worry about Kyle. He comes here sometimes. He does like me, but I'm not into him. Rachel kind of told me that earlier. Oh. Well, I just didn't want you to get the wrong idea. I appreciate that, but I tried to stay in character, okay? <laughs> if you get all nice to me now, you might end up losing. <laughs> You're going to break something tonight or what? <laughs> there she is. Abby chuckles to herself while studying the table. Which do I want? She keeps an eye on the game afar, silently cheering Abby on. To this pocket. She sinks it. <laughs> Maybe not so silently. Ah, oh, Let her win or play casually. Oh. You know what? I'm going to put it to her. Let's play. You decide to have fun with it, taking the first shots you see, good or bad, but at least it's trying to do well. The game goes back and forth so you finish your drinks, but Rachel is quick to bring more. They're trying to get me drunk. They're bringing me home. As the alcohol catches up with you, your focus shifts entirely to Abby. Oh, dear. This is where everything's going to go wrong. You're kidding. The eight ball creeps towards a side pocket. You're kidding. And falls in. Uh, just kill me now. <laughs> she throws back the rest of her whiskey. Come on, admit that was a fun game. She had an ounce of fun. Oh, well. I'll take the ounce. If this is the normal fun I might have, then she cups her hands together. This is how much fun I just had. I'm actually having trouble holding on to it. <laughs> uh, oh, people are at the bar again. Here we go. Oh, good. Tell them to get out. All right, all right, I'm leaving. What happened? This drunk asshole has been running his mouth all night, so I cut him off. I can handle a lot, but this guy... <laughs> He's just been going out of his way to piss everyone off around him. Uh, let's stop Tom from driving. You go after Tom. What are you doing? You again. I know you don't know me, but I could I convince you not to drive right now. Go back to your girlfriend, kid. Let me call an Uber. <laughs> he ignores you. <coughs> I tried. You joined the girls at the bar. Hey, what was that about? I wanted to get him a ride home, but he wasn't having it. I feel bad. I shouldn't have kicked him out. He left me a hundred dollar tip too. <laughs> Typical. The room has become noticeably quieter. The guy's going to keep playing pool. I hate to be an old woman, but I think it's my bedtime. Oh good. No worries. I had fun. Me too. When do you want to hang out again? Anytime. <laughs> I'm going to need an exact date, time, and set of coordinates, please. I like you. <laughs> Walk me out. Sure, let's, let's walk her out. Okay, so we managed to get to a second date and I think that's the end. So, she likes me. She actually likes me. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, let's be honest about it. <clears throat> but anyways, look, if you're enjoying this content and you want to see more, maybe if you want me to play this game a bit differently, you want me to be a bit more of an ass, uh, we can do that too. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, that bell notification. I upload nearly every single day uh, for new content. And that's that for myself. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.